Thank you all for being here tonight and not staying at home and working on your federal tax income <laughs> filing. So good of you to come out and experience the entertainment that the private sector has to offer. A lot of people hate on paying taxes, but I love it. I love it way more than the alternative, which is jail. <laughs> I don't even call it paying taxes anymore. I call it paying whatever amount of money they want me to pay to not take me to jail. Woo! Not as catchy of a title. How can they make you go to jail? You might be wondering. They got a lot of guns. That's how. I looked it up on the internet. Turns out they got 100% more guns than I got. I do take that back though. I got a BB gun. And it will put a good sized dent in a tin can, so let that be a warning to the government or any other motherfucker who wants to test me. Watch out. Woo! Thank you. Woo! Thank you. You're gonna get shot with BB. That's several seconds of slight pain. <laughs> I do, uh, excuse me, I do. I do like paying the local tax because you get to see your tax dollars at work in your community. But unfortunately, most of our money goes towards the federal government and they spend it on stuff that we might not want them to. I like, I like thinking about it like this. Imagine this with me. Imagine the United States of America is one big house and that means we're all roommates. Yay! We get to share a bathroom. We get to share a living space. You might want to eat some of my peanut butter. Hey, that's okay. You can have some. I don't mind sharing peanut butter with my roomies. Thank you. Because <laughs> peanut butter is expensive. And it's also expensive to live in an American house. <laughs> It may be advertised as the land of the free, but that is false advertising. Because you got to pay rent every year before April 15th. you got to pay to your landlord, Uncle Sam. He lives a few states down the hall from you. And usually, you're probably thinking, usually when you pay rent, you know exactly how much rent you got to pay to your landlord. But you go to Uncle Sam, and you ask him, and he says, I don't know, dude, you figure it out. And then he hands you a big ass book filled with a bunch of rent laws. And you're like, Uncle Sam, I don't want to read all these goddamn laws. And then he says, all right, fine, go hire somebody that's read the book. <laughs> and you're like, I'm not going to hire somebody to figure out how much rent I got to pay. That's dumb. And then he says, well, all right, read it yourself. And then you do. And then you get a few laws into it, and then you have a brain aneurysm, because it's too damn confusing. <laughs> and then they rush you off to the hospital wing of America House, and they tell you because you didn't sign up for health insurance, you got to pay even more rent. <laughs> and then you're like, I'm just going to look up what all this rent money is going towards anyway. And you find out that Uncle Sam has been going, taking your rent money, and going on vacations to the Middle East to murder people. <laughs> and then you find out more bad news. He's taking your rent money and buying a bunch of cool surveillance equipment so he can look at all the weird ass shit you're doing in your room when you think nobody's watching. So you go to Uncle Sam and you say, Uncle Sam, I like what you're doing with my rent money. I'm not going to pay it anymore. And Uncle Sam says, that's fine. Here's your eviction notice. But you don't got to look for a new place to stay. I already found you one. It's called jail, where ironically you're going to get free rent and free health care. <laughs> now get the hell out of my house. in for me. Thanks, everybody. See, it's better to go later in the show because then all you have left is real money. <laughs> That's a five! That's our first 
Fight 